One of my favorite bands of all time has always been Typo Negative. So when Schechter decided to come out with the Kenny Hickey signature guitar, I had to jump on it and, and get it. Its color is Peter Steele Green, and it even has the flag of Vinland on the back of the headstock, which Typo Negative fans know from the classic song off of October Rest, as well as a few in-jokes the band had incorporated the flag into over a number of years. The guitar model is essentially the popular C1 build that Schechter has used over the years, but with jumbo frets and a slightly extended scale length. Grover tuners and a rosewood fretboard are pretty standard for a lot of Schechter guitars, and its mahogany neck and body have a distinct resonance, which I think really works well for the baritone. The bridge pickup is a Seymour Duncan JBSH4B, which is a pretty classic pickup for rock and metal tone. <laughs> Not really a lot to say there, but where it gets interesting is the neck pickup. This was the major selling point to me for this guitar. It comes with a Sustaniac pickup. That's something that was key for Typo Negative's guitars, and at the time of this guitar's release, I didn't know of any baritones that came stock with the Sustaniac. You can toggle the Sustaniac with one switch on or off, and then you have three types of sustain. On the bottom position, you have just the root frequency sustaining. This basically sustains what you are playing till the battery dies out. On the middle position, you have harmonic feedback coming from wherever you're playing on the neck. I find this works best on the 7th fret and higher, especially on higher strings. The top position does an even higher harmonic of the feedback, and it's here where it almost becomes just feedback noise, but I've had uses for it and I think it sounds really cool when you put a crap ton of delay on it. <laughs> I find the Sustaniac to be really cool because you have to play differently according to the Sustaniac setting, and it gives you much more control than an Ebo does to create very violin-like textures on guitar. We've used this guitar mostly for the Sustaniac, and we've done a few leads with it on every Malakota record. The guitar also has a handy kill switch which you can use to toggle really quickly back and forth to create a kind of jerky, industrial-like clanging. That's all I've got to say about the Kenny Hickey model made by Schechter. Uh, I'm pretty sure you can get it still at the Schechter website, but it might only be a custom order now. As always, if you have any questions or comments, please make a comment below. Uh, make sure to hit the notification bell and the subscription button to make sure you're notified whenever a new video is up there on this series. Uh, all relevant links are going to be posted below as well. This is Lucas signing off. Make sure you play some typo negative for me.